All right, the first thing that we are going to learn today is select your color settings in Adobe Photoshop for your project. So for this, you need to go to edit and you need to go color settings. In the working space column, you have multiple options. So by default, you will be having sRGB, which is a smaller color space. So select Adobe RGB there. And in the settings, select North America pre-press 2. So it will give you a more wider color space for your printing purpose. Next click OK. That's all. All right, the second thing that we'll be learning is how to set up your own workspace. So if you're a beginner, then it's very important for you to learn these things. So you need to click here. Then you can see there are different type of workspaces available, design, painting, photography, 3D, motion, and new in CS5. Also, you can reset all these settings. Now, there we have an option of new workspace. So first you need to adjust whatever settings you want to save in your workspace. So go to view. In screen mode, you can choose different settings. And you can from the view option also you can go to full screen mode if you want to edit here alright you need to press escape if you want to close this window then from window you can see history then window you can go to navigator and all these options that come here uh, you can always hide them so once you are set with your preferred workspace then you need to simply click here then go to new workspace and give some name and save it so when you open the Photoshop next time and you click here then you will get this my work area so in this way you can customize your own workspace in Adobe Photoshop that's all in this The next thing that we'll be learning is how to create a custom action in web photoshop so suppose you want to create a new image always and the width needs to be 1366 and height needs to be 768 so if you need this type of image for your project every time you open this then you have to do it manually so adobe photoshop provides you an option of creating a custom action so for that you need to go to the action panel under window actions and you need to create a new action you need to name the action and hit the record button so then whatever you are doing on the screen it is getting recorded under that action so now go to file new and suppose you want 4000 3000 file every time and click ok so this whole thing have been recorded to the action now go and hit the stop button all right it's done now let's check its functionality close this document close this also and now you need to Go to the action, new document and simply hit the play button. So you have got a new image that you can check the size of this image also. It's 4000, 3000. So this was just an example. Later on we will be learning how to use these custom actions in some complex work. Also. In this section, we'll be learning how to create a custom gradient. So for this, you need to go to the gradient tool, then click here and you need to adjust your values, whatever value you want to change. I'll be choosing gradient type to noise and you can adjust all the settings here. You can also select any other gradient that you want to change. Let me select 
this one and then go to the noise all right so once you are done with adjusting your settings then you need to click on the name and assign a name to it and hit new so you can see this new gradient have been saved in the under the presets click ok then click here and select this new and you can drag and drop this onto your image if you don't want this type of uh, diamond effect then you can change the effects from here you need to hit ctrl z or you need to go to the window history and then delete that part so you can select the type of gradient from here there are a few options available of linear gradient then we have radial gradient angle gradient reflected and diamond gradient so let us check how this radial gradient looks click on the radial gradient and simply drag and drop all right so this was the custom gradient that we have just created you can play with it and you can assign different settings here In this section we will be learning two things how to define a brush preset and how to make your own brush so let's start with the first thing you need to click here then select the brush that you want to modify all right you can adjust the bristles length thickness stiffness angle and spacing anything and then you need to click on this new button all right you can rename your brush and hit ok so now your brush has been created let's check it out click here go to the down menu and you will see this this is the temp brush that we have just created click on it and you can start using it all right so whenever you want to undo all the things that you have done with your image you can always go to window history and click on this previous menu and hit delete button that's all now the second thing that we'll be learning is how to create a brush with this image so select your png image you can hit control a and go to edit and define brush preset so whatever name you will give this particular image will be saved as a brush hit ok now close this take a new document hit on the brush menu and you can see like and share brush have got created you can use it like this So that's all in the section that's all in this tutorial so don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you will not miss any update and stay tuned to this channel for more photoshop tutorials